Hey, it's Dean here. I'm going to do a practical walkthrough of how the client attraction strategy works in practice. So uh, this is a quick video. It's not a substitute for the webinar. Please watch it before the link expires. Um, this is really about how this works out in, in cold hard facts. So let's assume for a moment you've implemented the client attraction strategy. So you've done all the work we talked about in the webinar and you've mapped out the definition, who you've defined yourself, you've defined your objectives and you've defined your outcomes. So you've defined yourself and you've gone through that process. Now it comes to what's the results if we implement it. So I'm just going to show you some examples of how this works. Um, I've implemented this in, in my own business, I've implemented it in other businesses, and I've helped people in to implement it. And in every business that I've seen this implemented, it works. Now, it's not a miracle cure because there is some digging deep at the front end to do, and that's not, that's not like lots of expense, it's time and thinking things through and looking at, at the facts and stats to help you shape this as accurately as possible. So watch the webinar um, before the link expires if um, if you're not up to speed with this. So here is an example of a business and we've just let's call it Joe's video production company. And in 2019, they had 50 inquiries. Their conversion of those inquiries was 25 percent uh, and their average sale value was five thousand. So their total revenue from these inquiries, the successful inquiries, was sixty two thousand five hundred pounds. So implementing all of the client attraction strategy in full, let's assume that it just increases the effectiveness of what they're already doing by 10%. So no new activity, no changes as a result. We're just tweaking what's already in, in motion. So we just tweak what's already in motion for that company using the client attraction strategy. So no new stuff, just 10% improvement as a result. I think personally, you'll get a much better improved performance from implementing a client attraction strategy because you'll become more relevant. You'll become more uh, appealing to the prospective clients. And I collated all this stuff primarily because I hate selling. I hate cold calling. I'd rather clients make the inquiry for me and I just have to do follow up. So that's, that's, why I put this all together. Uh, so we're going to go through it. So uh, those 50 inquiries, a 10% increase becomes 55. The average conversion, one in four, increases by 10%. So it's increased by two and a half percent. So still only tiny improvements here, tiny, tiny improvements. But that's really um, uh, confidence for you that it's only about tiny improvements. Uh, tiny improvements make a huge amount of difference. So, And then because we're more relevant and more outcome focused with the client, we can increase our price by about 10%. So suddenly we've gone from uh, a £5,000 sale to £5,500 sale based on the fact that we're implementing the client attraction strategy, which makes us more relevant, more outcome focused for the client. And that's communicated in everything we do. So what does this look like in the numbers and the revenue? So we did 62,500 in 2019. And in 2020, doing the same stuff, just improving the conversions, we've gone to 83,187.50, a £20,687.50 improvement on the same numbers. So it isn't necessarily about inc massively increasing the output of your sales and marketing. It's about optimizing what you've already got. So people who implement the client attraction strategy may actually spend very little more than they're doing today. But what they will see is, is improved results on what's already happening. Now, if you don't know your conversion rates, if you don't know how many inquiries, you are starting at a baseline where you don't know whether your conversion rate is any good, you don't know whether your inquiry levels are any good. So you have to start from ground zero because you have to be able to measure. What you can't measure, you can't manage. What you can't measure, you can't improve. So if you don't know whether you've got 50 inquiries or not, you need to start there. You need to start tracking them. If you don't know what your conversion rate is, you need to start tracking them. If you don't know what your average sale value is, you need to start tracking it. Because all of those numbers are the things that you need to work on improving. And the way to improve them 
is a proper, thought-out, rigorous client attraction strategy. So that's the numbers uh, and how it can work. Obviously, if you increase your output, if you increase your activities, it's only going to yield more and more productive and better results. So thank you for watching. This is just a little demo, and I hope it's been helpful in helping you to understand how the client attraction strategy can help you in your business.